everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Body Ecology Body Creams collection. I do have six body creams from them. I don't have any of their body sprays, but I do love their body creams. So again, that is six that I'm going to be showing to you guys today. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So, the first one that I'm going to be showing you guys today is the Watermelon Splash. Uh, it picked up on it. There we go. It picked up on it real good there. And this, and oh yeah, I'm going to pop the notes up here so you guys can see the notes. I don't even need to look at my paper for this one. It just said that it had watermelon and fruit. It didn't, it was vague. It didn't go into any more details of what other fruit was in here but definitely the watermelon so this just smells basically like a watermelon jolly rancher it's a really sweet and sugared version of what a watermelon smells like but that's exactly what it smells like a watermelon jolly rancher a pretty beautiful watermelon scent yeah Whew. so a sweet and fruity scent is what you're going to get in this it's all watermelon not sure what other fruit would be able to enhance the smell of watermelon um but it just smells like basically watermelon and sugar again a watermelon jolly rancher so this is the first one i'm going to be showing you guys right here so let's go ahead and move on to the second one that i'm showing you guys the second one is sweet love I be trying to let my camera pick up on it because sometimes my ring light just be shining, but it looked like it looked like it got it. So again, this one is sweet love. <sighs> okay, so let me go ahead and look at the notes. And again, they will be popping up up there. Um, this says that it has sweet notes. Again, it don't go all the way into detail, but sweet notes, whipped cream, and floral notes. I get that sweet notes, of course, because it's a sweet scent. I get the sweet and I get the whipped cream. It smells like it has vanilla in here as well, even though it doesn't specifically say vanilla, but it does smell like a sweet, fluffy scent. I don't get any of the floral at all. Yeah, so this just smells like a sweet vanilla, whipped, like a, a sweet vanilla creamy scent. So that's all that this one smells like. It's just something that's soft but sweet and it has vanilla in it. I'm guessing the vanilla is in what they call the sweet notes. But yeah, so this just smells like a, a soft, fluffy, sweet kind of a scent. So that's all that you get. It's really simplistic. It's not, you know, it, it's really simplistic. You can almost wear this with anything if it's like a, a creamy scent or a scent that has vanilla in it because this one um again i don't get any of the floral even though it's you know from the pack that I, I don't get any of the floral not to me no floral but this is the second one let's go ahead and move on to the third one now whew, this one they said that it was going to be i guess limited edition i didn't even know that body ecology did limited edition um since i didn't know that um, but yeah, they said this one is going to be limited edition and this one is peach sunrise. Um, I won't be popping the notes up on this one because I could not find the little thing, the little, you know, thing that's like on Fragrantica that had the notes because it's so new and they didn't have it. And like I said, I don't know if they're even going to put it up there because it's supposed to be limited edition. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and read you the notes. So it has peach, um, clementine, berry, and jasmine. And I smell the peach, of course, peach sunrise. And I smell the berry, so. Okay, so this is, of course, like I said, it's peach sunrise. So it's prominent on the peach, but you do get a hint of that berry. And if I had to guess what berry it was, I would say a little, like a little scent of maybe just a, just a hint, a really small hint of a, a blueberry wave across, but it works really, really good with the peach. Yeah, but this just smells strictly like a peach. Peach sunrise, um, it just smells like a peach, like really 
a, a fresh peach. It, you know, it'll actually be a good combination with wrapped in sunshine because um, that smells like a fresh peach. But that's what I get. I get a fresh peach with this one. It's not too sugary or too sweet, but it smells like, um, you know what? Not just a peach, but it smells like a peach juice, like the peach juice when you cut the peach and like some juice may come out of it. That's what it's made. Not that, not the, the the artificially flavored peach juice. It smells like the real juice of a real peach. Like if you're cutting the juice, you know, it was my bad. Y'all not gonna edit it. But anyways, like if you're cutting a peach and the juice that drips out, I don't know if you guys ever smelled one. Um, but I have, you know, when you're cutting the peaches, because we, we have some peaches over in my kitchen. Um, but that's what this smells like, the juice of a fresh peach. That's what this smells like. Yeah. A realistic peach. So I really, really like this one. So that is Peach Sunrise. Let's go ahead and move on to the fourth one. The fourth one that I'm showing you guys today is Beautiful Blossom. Um, this is the one that I've been using the most, in, which is the emptiest of all of them. I mean, they all have something in them. But this one is the lightest bottle, and I have been using this one the most. So let me go ahead and just give you the notes first. Um, apple blossom and magnolia is what they say is in here, but yeah, yeah. This is a pretty light floral scent. I do get the apple blossom as well as the magnolia. They are blended really, really good together. So for me, just for me, I don't get more magnolia or more apple blossom. I get them both mixed perfectly together. So this is a really pretty floral scent, but it's a soft floral scent. It's not anything that's overwhelming. It's a really, really soft floral scent. So if it's someone out there and you don't like florals, but maybe you've been thinking about testing the waters, I would say this is still something good that you can try. This will ease you into the world of floral without overwhelming you. So I would say try this one. So this, again, is a beautiful, beautiful, light, soft floral scent. All right. Now this one here, I'm not quite sure how they came up with the name because you guys, you guys will see. Let me, let me show it to you first. So this one was supposed to be or is special or limited edition for um, Body Ecology as well. And that is Peony Blush. Yeah. And the notes in Peony Blush is apple, rose, and musk. Let me tell you, I get more of the apple than anything else. Yeah, I get more of the apple. I get the apple, then the musk, then the rose. Just a little hint of rose. So, so this is a pretty, a pretty, pretty fruity scent to me because, I, like I said, I get more of the apple. I like, I love, I like their packaging too, just to throw that out there. And teal is one of my favorite colors, just in case, I just, just in case you guys can't see behind me, the pillows on my couch are teal and purple. So I, lo I love, a, I love a pretty teal color. So the package is what made me stop and smell it. And when I smelled it, I was like, oh, this is so pretty. So I get more of the apple in this. And then, like I said, the musk, and then I can smell a little bit of the rose, um, Rose to me is like a more of a sweet floral. So that I think that's why this works well because the apple is a fruit and then you got a sweet aspect and then you got a musky aspect. And anybody again that has been watching my channel, they know I like a musky scent. I like something with musk. Musk is in almost every one. And I need to go through all of them. But if I'm not mistaken, it is in at least 98% of all the perfumes that I have in my collection. But I love musk. But like I said with this one, it's apple first, musk second, and then you get a little bit of rose. So it is a pretty sweet floral scent, sort of, but it's more fruity than it is floral. So just to give that in order to you guys, that's fruity, musky, and then floral because that rose only gives it just a little kick of floral. But like I said, with rose, to me, even though it's a floral, it also has a sweet aspect of it. And I think that's why the apple works so good with the rose. So 
again this is more of a fruity scent and it's a pretty pretty scent i really like this now um i was saying at first that the beautiful blossom was my favorite that was my favorite and it's still one of my favorites i just use especially when i'm fresh out the shower i'll just you know lotion up with that but i think that i like peony blush better now but i have to be easy on it like i said because it was limited edition and i did go to walmart yesterday and i did not see any of the peony blush uh body cream but i did still see some of the the body sprays there so it probably really is limited edition not quite sure but that's what they were saying when i was in walmart that it's limited edition that and that peach sunrise so we'll see but last but not least is the dark cherry oh, oh, can you see it dark cherry orchid by Botecology. and let me just go ahead and tell you the notes so it's peach cherry and orchid all that I can say for this one is love spell. Love spell. That's it. <sighs> Smells just like love spell. So anybody that is looking for like um, a dupe because you just sometimes when Victoria's Secret, they don't have sales. Um, well, they keep a sale, but if it's just a time that you want it and they don't have a sale, this, this one. It smells just like Victoria's Secret's love spell. That's the most simplest, easiest way for me to explain how this smell. I mean, it's a it's a dupe. You know how some dupes are like 98%, 99%. This is 100% a dupe of love spell by Victoria's Secret. And I said that I was going to go and get it and add in my collection. But if I'm honest with you, I got this. So I might not be adding love spell to my collection unless I get the spray. But I'll probably leave the lotion because this is a great alternative. And it's like for $3.98 at Walmart, $4 every day. I don't have to wait for a sale. I can just go and get it. So this smells completely and exactly just like 100% just like Victoria's Secret love spell. So that's that's what this smells like and yeah so that's what this one smells like all right so that brings us to the end of this video again do not forget to like comment and subscribe drop me any ideas down there in the comment section again i do want to know what you guys think about my videos but i also want to know what you guys want to see from me because i do want to create content that you guys want to see so I will see you guys in my next video. Again, I appreciate the support and all the love that you guys have been showing me. And again, I'll see you in my next video.